Measure of Measure is one of those problem plays. It's not strictly a comedy or a drama, it sort of falls somewhere in the middle. And for that reason, it in some ways seems a lot more modern than many of his other plays. It's, uh, it's one of Shakespeare's plays that is not done very often. And it really is an interesting piece about uh, what we restrict in ourselves and how we deal with those restrictions. It's about a time and a place where people have been removed from who they really are. Their animal instincts have been pulled apart from the way that they're supposed to act. Uh, Paris in the 20s was a time when people, artists um, and such, were coming from all over to this city where they were free to be who they wanted to be and express themselves. It really is very relevant in today's society. Um, we are still finding ourselves living in a world where we're not always free to be who we are. How do we set those limits on ourselves and how do we, how do we respond when, um, when we're asked to push those limits and asked to test those boundaries? And I think that's a really fascinating journey into you know, what it means to be a human. Every character here is like a it's like a Chinese puzzle box and we get to unwrap them and hopefully we're gonna find out something magical and wonderful that we can share with the audience. I think the, the audience will see things that they recognize in these characters. I have no tongue but one. Gentle my lord, let me entreat you to speak the former language. One of the things I love about any Shakespeare play, of course, is the language, the imagery, the verse. I mean, it's Shakespeare. The language is beautiful. A lot of Shakespeare's plays are very familiar. They've been done so many times and quoted so often that they've kind of lost their excitement uh, for even people who love Shakespeare. This one is not done very much, and so it's all sort of new. You, you never know where you're going to find yourself in a Shakespeare play.